What? You. You brought new bodies, didn't you? Please, enough. Stop bringing them here. There's so many of them I can barely hear. I can barely hear. Oh, they can speak with the dead, the newly buried. So there's so many bodies that they're just hearing a cacophony of voices, aren't they? That sounds like a nightmare. Are the graves overflowing? Imagine 50 people crammed into this room. You can't bend your knees, can't turn, can't scratch your back, can't even shrug. And it lasts for days. How would you feel? It's torture. Do they hurt? The earth is cramped. No more space. They trample each other. They wail. But then we must burn them. There's no other way. Or they'll smother you. No. No burning. Then they won't be able to talk to us. The last thread will tear. Hope itself will dissolve. They'll be gone forever. Can't you see? Something has to be sacrificed. No, actually, let's go with the one that doesn't end the conversation. But they're already dead. They can't feel anything. No, they care. They feel. And there's no peace for them now. That's all they need. Consolation and peace. There's no one more miserable, more helpless than the dead. Can't you see that? Perhaps, but the living are more important. No, doctor. You don't believe me, do you? Go and listen. Go listen to those huge graves. They dump people there by the dozen. There, there. Don't cry. It's too crowded underground. The dead are shrieking and smothering each other. Even I can hear it if I try. Let's go listen. Can I hear it? I don't hear it. Yeah, that's where it says to go. Like, right, right here. Maybe I should just completely stop moving. Nothing's happening. Should something be happening? It's marked on the map. That means I must do something here, right? I don't want to leave till I do the thing. If I sneak, I don't get it. Grace, I'm sorry, I tried. Wait, look inside. Look inside. Oh, <laughs> oh God, cold ones, cold, icy. Cold, I see cold, all cold, all. You really can talk. All call, all cold, 
I see. I see. I. Lacking, clad, in cold. Is Isidore Brach among you? Call one, call all, all one, alone. Well, one thing's pretty clear. They're cold. You need warmth. Burn the bodies. It's too crowded underground, indeed. Nice meeting you once again, my dear hometown. <laughs> if I burn the grave, this will stop for sure, but should I? I mean, they're suffering, and it's... I think I should. They're suffering, and... Grace is... going to lose it, I think, if I don't. Um, let me just see if I can talk to Grace. Hi? Rat Prophet. It has, like, milky white eyes. Is it blind? Human. Rat. I'm not. What are you, then? A thing of shadow, a thing of the depths, a thing of earth, flesh of her warm flesh. I know the answers. You don't even know the questions. What seek you within me? Truth. What do you want to hear, human? How many dead do you think are down there? More than I would like. Any other questions? Is it possible to relocate some of them somewhere else? It can be arranged. It would be my pleasure. Should I make it less crowded? Okay, so this might be an alternative way to solve it, so maybe I shouldn't burn them. How are you going to arrange that? Safe and sound. So? I'm not a town hall clerk awaiting your orders. trust this thing and I'm worried that it's going to do something with the dead that is going to be worse than just kind of putting them out of their misery by burning them mm. maybe they're just going to eat all of the bodies with a horde of rats or something. I don't know. I don't like this. I really don't like this. <clears throat> I don't know what to do. I don't want to do it. <sighs> Forget it. I can sense that your plans are vile. So creepy. Oh, it's gone as soon as I look away. I don't trust it at all. I really think it's going to do something worse with the bodies. Oh, I hope I made the right choice. It's very interesting. Will I be interrogated as well? Did you hear them? Did you? Yes. Do you understand now? I do. They're cold, smothered, and in pain. They're unique, not like us. They forget the simple and learn the inexplicable. They have their own tongue, like your people, the kin. Not everyone understands the kin. But then they don't go and burn you, do they? Hmm.
That's a hell of a comparison. I mean, don't kill the living or the dead. So forget my complaining, all right? It was just momentary. It hurts, but that's fine. They hurt more. Just don't do anything bad to them. Hmm. So I might be misunderstanding what they're saying because they're the undead and uh, our communication isn't exactly perfect. So maybe they don't actually mean that they're suffering and they're cold and... Okay. Okay, I won't burn them. I won't touch the dead, but I'm not so sure about you. What do you mean? Don't you dare. No one can replace me. Yeah, that sounded like a kind of creepy thing to say. Uh, but I said it. Why, exactly? No one else knows how to care for them. No one else knows how to listen. No one else will whisper them kind words. Each of them is like kin to me. I feel them listening to my lullabies. God. If I let Grace stay, are they just going to just... explode? Metaphorically? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Ah, I need to get them out of here. They're so young. Like, I think they're a kid. I think somebody said they're like 15 or something. <sighs> They'll have to manage. I'll find a way to take you away from here. Grace is right. We must not burn them. Let it all stay as it was. I hope Capella's visions are just dreams. I mean, yeah, I guess there's no replacement for them right now, so, like, for the moment, that's... We're just leaving everything as it was. I wonder if we will actually replace them. Do not fear death. Life begins after it. Oh, it's so interesting the way they reached out their hand and then suddenly pulled it back. Like they made a connection with something. Hi. Have you spoken to the girl? How is she? I think it's better to leave her alone for now. I came to take her away. The town hall is finally ready to find her a normal place to live. Good? I think? I don't know. I don't know. Are you sure that's a good idea? Of course. Is there any doubt? Grace is an unusual girl. She has different needs than other kids. Oh, come to your senses, Dr. Barra. Do you even know the girl's name? It's Grace. Grace is just a nickname. She's nameless. She has no documents. Her father and mother were twi-wine drunks. They never bothered. She can't read or write. Eats whatever she picks off the ground. She's living like a weed. Why call her a weed? Precious herbs grow in the cemetery, too. What will become of her when she grows up? Or, oh, this is simpler. In winter, when it drops below zero. Here, the only path ahead of her is one that leads right down into graveyard soil. Grace is special. I don't know if that means that they should stay here or leave, but they are special. They're definitely not like other people. They definitely have powers. <sighs> You're right. So I'm taking her? Yes, it's the right thing to do. I don't know if it's the right thing to do. We must not burn the dead, but piling them up inside Grace's small heart isn't an option either. She's been relocated from the cemetery. 
God, I hope she's okay and she doesn't explode being somewhere else, you know? Just, like, I don't know what could happen. But bad things could definitely happen to them. I think I'm glad I didn't have the Rat Prophet do whatever they were going to do with the bodies. I mean, what do rats do to bodies? They eat them. I don't think it would have been good. What to do now? 5 p.m. How am I doing? Health is, eh, you know, eh. Hunger's high, exhaustion's low, so at least I don't have to sleep for exhaustion's sake. Need to eat soon. I should take antibiotics soon. That's the thing, I don't know if I should take antibiotics right now because they're gonna hurt me, or if I should wait. I don't know, I'll use some. Don't hurt me too much. Alright, that lowered my infection. It didn't hurt me that much. I need to keep my infection low. I think, like, I'm pretty sure when it raises, that's what starts hurting me a lot. Just being infected at all seems to make the hurt thing tick every, I don't know, like 30 seconds or something. But when the infection's really low, it seems to hurt me very, very little. Alright, I have an idea. I want to treat people. I want to go to the theater to see what I need to do for my daily rounds. I don't want to, but must go speak with the Inquisitor, Aglaya. Let's go up here to Stamaton. They're the only one that hasn't been treated. Mm. Yeah, yeah, they're the only one that hasn't been treated. And then after I go to them, I can take this boat to here, and then Town Hall's just right there. Or theater, rather. Yes. Such a strange place. I've never been here before. Look at it. You know what that reminds me of? This sort of looks like a triangle, kind of, ish. That reminds me of Nara walking into the triangle thing in that dream or vision when I slept. Can I go in here? No. That's an enemy. Not the most valuable stuff. Do I need more blood? I've got five on me. I don't I don't want more than that. What did it highlight? Oh, the town is calling me here. It was also calling me to, uh... Georgie Kine's place. So just all the canes in general. Ooh. Glad I checked. Peanuts, plus probably some other stuff. Am I almost there? Yeah. Don't want to use up too much of my stamina, because I want to be able to defend myself.
forgot my health was so extremely low. Of course I died in one hit. Hey, Mark. Something's brewing. Your burden is heavy, Artemy Bura. How can we show that? Imagine rolling a boulder uphill, muscles trembling. What do you feel? That you're trying to trick me. Well done, and not entirely untrue. Not now, though. Now we work for real. Today's subject is attrition, burden, exhaustion. <laughs> work, then, without me. Your play is here, I play outside. You walk his paths, Buras' paths, and they are so very difficult. Each step drains your strength, drives you closer to death. The paths narrow, shorten. You won't be able to meander as much from now on. What do you mean? You'll become exhausted quicker. We'll probably have to sleep more, and sleep in the Brother of Death. Sleep in the Brother of Death? What? It diminishes, not your life, maybe, but the number of times you can act and influence the world. Hmm. It diminishes my life, too. Quite so. Oh, and don't forget that... Yeah, yeah, every time I die, my life force dwindles, I remember. Tell yourself, I'm exhausted. I can't take it anymore. Feels natural, doesn't it? This admission could save your life. Take pity on yourself and stop in time. As a doctor, I agree. All organisms need rest. Such a paradox. To admit you're tired. Is that a step towards death? A surrender? An admission of your natural limits? Or is it a step back to whatever happens before death? What is real life? Food for thought. Did the whole grace thing. Played it out the <clears throat> same way that I did before. And I think I saved a bit of time this time because I knew exactly what to do. And probably most importantly, I didn't try to sit on top of the bodies for like a half hour trying to hear them. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to try to go back to Stamaton, but I am, of course, once again, very hurt and would die in one hit. So I want to try something new. I like never use my lockpick. How about I try breaking into a place in an infect district? Maybe people don't care if you do that? Are there even people inside? I don't know. I'm gonna try. Oh. It goes away eventually, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Alright, maybe not. I'll break into a different one. <clears throat> Whoa. I'll take an egg. really messing up my immunity bad and I don't have any more plus tinctures um, but Yas does hunger I think Zirk does thirst and that would be fine yeah let's drink my water God. Alright, I'm abandoning that plan. <laughs> I can't even find a door to go in and I don't want to spend forever in there ruining my immunity. It's not worth it. I want to find a pharmacy, but there's really no convenient ones along the way with where I'm going. What is this building? And how come I can just enter it? Don't you usually have to knock?
What is this building? It's it's just abandoned. Holy hell. Yes, tourniquet. That's actually exactly what I want. Something that will make me not die in one hit, but two instead. Uh-oh. So I found like a looter's house? Interesting, I didn't know that was a thing. Leather gloves. I thought that was a bandit. Did I drop him? Oh, no, no, he equipped him. Yeah. Perfect for opening unsafe drawers and doors. The factory recently began training... Tars? When flesh fails, the owner of the Bull Enterprise, Fat Vlad, squeezes profit out of hide, too. Yeah, this is an amazing find. Oh my god, a place I can loot freely and nobody even cares. This whole place has obviously been tossed. But there's some stuff left. Pathetic amount of money in that one. <laughs> it's all the doors here? Yeah, upstairs. Might be more looters. Gotta kill the looters so I can loot, you know? Oh, have to pick the lock. Sure. all my picks. Another set of leather gloves. Those would probably sell for a lot. Get the hell out of here. Some really good finds. Mostly the tourniquet and the gloves. So how do I find buildings like that? Like, is there some way to find looted buildings? I guess, it, is it the color? It's like pinkish tan. There's one there. There's one there. Are there any others? Doesn't seem like it. Weird that it seems to be marked on the map, but like, why? I mean, the game never explained that, and why would that be marked on my map? How would I know? Huh. Man, I'm gonna be pissed if I die now. Oh, there's a lot of bad guys over there. Maybe I should just sneak past them. drop this like brown twire and blood twire and black twire. I have just one of each and I don't need those at all. Hey, you. No! If you miss that first hit, I'm just fucked. Oh no, I gotta go do all that again. <sighs> fellow traveler. Nice meeting you, fellow traveler. How's it going? Enjoying the play? No, no, I'm not. 
It's not going particularly well, as you can see. You don't say. The man's weird. How did it even occur to him? A person stumbles, and instead of lending a hand, he pushes them down further, pours oil under their feet. It's completely beyond me. I'm less than a person to him. Listen, fellow traveler. I have a proposal, and I'll be blunt. Would you like to stop all this torture, the punishment, the hunger, the pain, the divine plagues of Egypt you endure for each new death? What do you mean? Exactly what I meant. I'll replace you. I'm itching to act. You'll become strong again. No more hunger pangs. The bony monstrosity we've all seen out on the square will vanish. And you'll no longer be punished for mistakes. You're about to perish without a single achievement. Look how pale you are. No offense. How would you even achieve this by strangling the director? Nah, I'm a light technician here. Lighting the way, so to speak. Immortel will listen to me. Don't you worry about that. All you need to give is your consent. No soul required. Hmm. Alright, so what's the catch? Don't say there isn't one. If we strike this deal, you'll be free to die as much as you can bear. You can become death's next door neighbor, so to speak. But in exchange, you'll lose something. Something big and important. And I won't tell you what it is. It might hurt incredibly. Or not at all. And here you were saying you didn't want my soul. Pull the cloth out of your brains and think about it. Hard. These aren't just words. I am taking something from you. The real you. No huge loss, though. Maybe. But you'll be free to walk the town, take risks, get into fights, be daring. No deal. Tedious bullshit is better than the fear of uncertainty. Are you sure? I'll only offer once. You won't be able to change your mind or rewind time. The choice you make now will stay with you until the end. I'm sure. I'll manage without shady proposals. Well, fellow traveler, you've made your choice. Go out there. I will act. See you around. Yeah, I'm not taking that deal. Fuck that. Okay, entering the house again, where I'll have to fight one of the looters. By the way, yeah. Okay, so I noticed that this house actually wasn't marked until I went inside of it. So I didn't somehow know beforehand. It looks like you just need to check doors. And if you can just enter and you don't need to knock, then I guess that means looters, looters have been in there and there's probably going to be enemies, but you don't have to risk tanking your reputation. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate myself. No one wants to talk with me anymore. Good, I don't want to talk with them. Let me get back to it. <laughs> I gotta do the whole grace thing over again. I'm gonna try a different approach this time. I managed to trade a couple matches for a grindstone. Let's repair my knife. My different approach is going to be go to a pharmacy first. It's inconvenient. There aren't any ones along the way where I wanted to go, but I need some bandages. I need to be able to take more than one hit. Bandage. Thank God. Guess there's nothing I want to sell back. Nope. That is a significant health restoration. I can take one, maybe two hits now. I would like to heal even more. That was honestly pretty cheap. Do I want to head back to this house right now? That has people inside of it? I probably shouldn't. No. 
Let's head to this pharmacy along the way to Stamaton's place and just forget that building. I think it has a random amount of bandits inside of it, because the last time I died there I fought one and then I heard other voices behind me, so there's at least two in there. Picking up that herb on purpose. Unless it's a special herb, I really don't need it right now. And I can tell by the noise, it's not. Ooh, there's an enemy right there. Let's get healed before fighting an enemy. Newly sharpened knife. Newly repaired body. Time for some stabbing. <laughs> you don't have any, of course you don't. Should I buy some antibiotics? I've got one of each type. Eh. Mm, a pharmacy that doesn't even have a bandage. Ooh, fully sharpened, they die in two hits. Good stuff. Town's calling me here. Hm. I could sell the ring. Ah, uh, right, but stuff isn't worth very much anymore. It's probably better to trade it. Uh, let's go back this way to get to Stamatons. Don't walk on the dead bodies, Artemy. By Artemy, I mean Arta, me. Don't walk on the dead bodies. <laughs> That's an enemy up there. Snuck longer. Okay, let's see if we can treat Stamaton. I say Stamaton because I always forget which Stamaton. Peter. Yeah, Peter Stamaton. Andre's the tavern owner. And finally, I have a decent amount of health and I have. Grace? Grace is staying here. Okay, it's a good place to be, I guess. Except Peter's infected. <laughs> 